everybody, in this video I will tell you a bit about extensions in iOS. An extension is an extra that is associated to your apps. It's executed by iOS independently of the main application, it has its own confinement, but it is strongly related to the application and it requires the application to be installed to be available. And sometimes you have empty applications that are just here to let you install the corresponding extension. Uh, and if you uninstall the application, of course, the uh, extension goes with it. You have several types of extension. You have now numerous types of extension. I will just show you the, the major ones. The first one is a two-day extension, and this is the one I will give you an example on. It's a rapid update in a notification center of data that is typically related to your application. For example, you have a weather forecast application that will export a two-day extension that allows you to have not the full data but maybe a, a bit of it. You have share extension that allow you to post something to share content. You have action extension that allow you to manipulate access to the application content. You have photo editing extension that allow you to edit photo or video. And you also have custom keyboard that allow you to replace the keyboard or to add this keyboard uh, to the list of keyboards that are usable for all applications. So uh, I told you that the two-day application goes into the notification center. The other ones, they are available in some situation. Typically the share extension is available anytime you want to share something. And then a new way to share the information will be proposed. Uh, typically you are uh, implementing an application that goes into a net uh, social network. You want to share pictures etc in a dedicated way for your network and then you have to provide the corresponding share extension. Okay, uh, this is also true for photo editing that appears when you uh, want to update the photo from the uh, photo application of Apple or from any photo application that allows photo editing and the custom keyboard can appear to any application. Okay. We will focus on the two-day extension because basically it's representative of uh, what you can do and it's a very useful one. So it's very often used. Uh, in fact, uh, a two-day extension answers to the NC widget providing protocol. And it also has a view did load for static content that will never change. And then you have something else that will appear when the extension is awakened. I'm sorry to tell you that Storyboard is apparently strongly recommended there by Apple and most people doing extension, at least all the example that I saw aside the documentation, use Storyboard for this. But probably programmatic construction may be possible. I didn't try myself, okay, but so it's an open question. Uh, you can try. Let's have a look on NC widget providing. This is a protocol uh, that handles dynamic updates. So you are in a view controller, in fact, uh, it's a, you have a view did load, so it's a view controller. And the extra methods you will have to implement, uh, in fact, allow you to deal with these updates. Uh, so uh, in fact, you have one main method, widget perform update, it's opened and then you get as a parameter a handler, a completion handler that you have to invoke at the end because you have to give back the execution to the operating system in a given way by providing it some information. Typically you provide an execution value. The first execution value is failed and then it means that you had a problem and nothing will be displayed. You can also provide no data and then iOS will provide no data. It just said, okay, I already displayed it, so it's okay. And you can also tell him that you have new data and then it will perform some update. So it's very imp important to invoke this uh, handler, otherwise probably it crashes. You have some other useful stuff. You have some properties here. 
uh, NC widget display mode that is either compact or extended. It provides you the size of the window that displays your today extension. And you also have some useful uh, method uh, that allow you to uh, know where the display mode changes. Uh, you can also be invoked uh, when uh, you begin editing or when you do end editing. And in fact, to be honest, you have to go through the manual uh, because uh, I couldn't easily discover when these methods were uh, effectively uh, invoked. Let's have a look on uh, my application. The application really provides me nothing because this is a blank application which is just here for its extension. And if I invoke the notification center and have a look here, here is the code that is associated to uh, this application. It's just in the extension. And if I drop uh, the uh, extension, the two-day extension, and if I had another look at it, you see that the date has changed, okay? Because the uh, extension has refreshed the view. The first thing to do when you want to create an extension associated to an application uh, is to create a new target. And you create a new target by uh, tapping on this plus here and in fact it will propose you a lot of targets. Here these are all the possible extensions and things you can have. You can have uh, unit testing etc. You can create new applications because you can have several applications in the same project. But here what we are interested in is this first part. So you see you have uh, action extension, uh, audio unit, etc, etc. I just show you a few examples of extension. You have many more. And the one we are looking for uh, today is the, up, 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 oh, it's there, is the today extension uh, that is associated to uh, this notification center. So I create it, I give it a name. Uh, of course, I can choose my language. Here I will decide it's Swift. And then if I tap on finish, uh, let's do cancel first, I will observe that here I have a second target, but here I also have some more information. And you see that in fact, uh, this extension is associated to a real UI view controller, you see it, that also requests you to answer to the NC widget providing protocol. So uh, we will see uh, soon how we can program that. Uh, I will just mention uh, something else uh, that you have also your own storyboard file and you have also your own info.playlist. So it's a sub-project within the project and uh, also you can decide to execute either the project on a device or a simulator or the extension on a device or a simulator. Let's have a look on the default storyboard that is provided uh, for the extension. I will not change it. So I just have here a label and uh, I will do as I do uh, with uh, storyboard. I will drag, control, click, drag and drop uh, the label to have an outlet associated to it. So I have done this, I have that outlet and here it's a very simple implementation. I just fetch a date and a date formatter and I display the current date. Okay, with a little smiley and I state that I have changed the information in my view. So please, it's new data, you have to update the view. That's all, that's all. It's not so complex, it's quite useful. Uh, there are well-known 
today's extension associated to calendar, uh, weather forecast, the meteo application, etc., etc. Once again, you can also uh, do some other extensions. Keyboard is a bit more tricky because you really have to implement a keyboard. Uh, photo editing also, you have to deal with uh, photo edition frameworks, but once again, you can provide them as plugins. And in fact, this idea of extensions is very interesting because you can not only enrich your application, but enrich a family of applications that are using a given feature, for example, photo edition, uh, with your new uh, stuff. However, you have to be very cautious because there are many issues with Apple's policy for extension that sometimes changes a bit and they just want very limited interaction in extensions, okay? So it appeared that very well-known apps were rejected because of this policy. So you had very known apps that was, the, suddenly a new version was providing some extension and the app was rejected because of this extension. And the guys either had to change dramatically the extension or to drop the extension to perform on the store the update of their soft. Okay, so for example, in today's extension, they want no button or in some very clear condition, you really have to look uh, at the manual, at the, 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 the specification from Apple. Uh, typically, no calculator. One of the examples of the well-known application that was dropped was providing a small calculator in a today extension, as an extension, etc., etc. So you really have to check what you can do and not do before thinking about developing and of course submitting on the App Store an application with an extension. Thank you very much for your attention. See you later.